My teaching philosophy draws on a couple of core concepts. First, that learning is an active endeavour. I mean, you would have heard many people speak about learning not being a spectator sport. Second, that learning is a dialogic activity. That means I want to listen to my students as well as invite them to listen to me. And finally, I really believe that learning can be enhanced by sharing not just what we know with our students and inviting them to share what they know with us, but I think more importantly, inviting them and giving them an opportunity to share what they don't know. I guess you might say to me, these are values that you hold dear too. But I guess my challenge then becomes, with class sizes becoming increasingly larger and perhaps contact time diminishing, how do we satisfy those values and beliefs? You know, and are those values and beliefs becoming increasingly more difficult to satisfy? And so my paper, using an electronic voting system to enhance learning and teaching, shows how simple technology can help me respond to my values in a large group lecture setting. The paper, for instance, talks about how I used formative tests at the end of some of the lectures and at the start of all of my lectures to tease out my students' conceptions and their misconceptions to shape part of that lecture experience. And this is the sort of thing that you would have done previously with a large, I beg your pardon, with a smaller group. So in addition to that dialogic activity, testing my students, finding out what they know, finding out what they don't know, and doing something with that information. I also show in my paper how by carefully coupling individual questions together and tying them around a theme, I get to actually see whether my students are guessing some answers, seeing whether they've got misconceptions around a theme, or see actually whether they've got a really good understanding of that theme. And you take that a little bit further because by carefully choosing the answer choices on these coupled questions, you get to see actually and give the students an opportunity to contradict their previous responses. And showing those contradictions or the students' ironies of their responses has been really important in terms of showing the students what they know and what they don't know about the subject. So I guess what I'd close by saying is that I believe that this type of technology, electronic voting systems or personal response systems, has a really important part to play in the ways in which we interact with our students. And I think particularly that's true and becoming ever more true in large group teaching settings. I hope you enjoy the paper and naturally I hope there's going to be some follow-up discussion in terms of taking some of your thoughts through to a discussion forum. Thank you for tuning in.